The bandits operated freely for hours. Shea Hussani reacts to the kidnapping of an Ohanese chieftain. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. It was reported yesterday that armed bandits attacked a certain village in Kaduna State and kidnapped several innocent Nigerians, including an Ohanese chieftain, Eze Fred Awago. This tragic incident caused a lot of Nigerians to react differently. Based on that note, the former senator that represented the good people of Kaduna Central Senator Zone, Senator She Hussani, decided to react. While reacting, the former lawmaker made it known that Eze Fred Awagu, an Ohanese chieftain, was among several individuals who were kidnapped yesterday at Anguan Gimboya and the outskirts of Kaduna City. Speaking further, Senator Shea Hosanna made it known that the bandits operated freely for hours. He ended his tweet by stating it clearly that this is the tragedy of our time. His post reads, As a Fred Awago Odum, Ibo Wan, an Ohanese chieftain in Kaduna State is one of a several persons kidnapped yesterday at Aguan Gambia in the outskirts of Kaduna City. The bandits operated freely for hours. This is the tragedy of our times. This is sad and pathetic. With what is going on presently in Nigeria, it seems like the federal government does not know what to do again. Nigerians are being killed and kidnapped on a daily basis, yet nothing is happening. The federal government must rise up now and act fast because tomorrow might be too late for all of us. Indeed, tomorrow might be too late for every one of us. If you are one of many that used to think, oh, it, is, it does not concern you, it does not concern me, the security information, I mean, situation in my place or in my, in my own region is calm. Uncle, auntie, please open your eyes. It is getting worse. Like on a daily, what did I say? On an hourly basis now. As you're hearing of one attack going on in another place, the next hour, like three, four, five hours again, you're hearing that in another community, if it is not bandit, it is Boko Haram. If it is not Boko Haram, it is the ISWAP. If it is not the ISWAP, you hear gunmen, you hear unknown gunmen, you hear mass gunmen. Everything keeps happening. And still yet, these people have not found the lasting solution. And yet, this administration and the praisers, they come and massage the ego of this administration, making Nigerians that are complaining look stupid. They come and say, oh, in this administration, it is only in this administration that they have, you know, that they have fought security. I'm saying it does not matter if you like, be saying anything you like. So far that the effect of whatever you are saying cannot be seen. I say it again, it is not even those around you. It is the grassroots, the masses that are going to come out and say, oh, this person is actually really, really working. If all you do, you do it and you spend millions of naira, you buy a mountain tank, you buy a Tucano jet, you buy whatever. And the effect of those things, you cannot really, really strategize and know how to use those things to fight the insecurity in Nigeria. I tell you, you're wasting time and resources. On a daily basis, this is what happens. Both the one that, you know, the media captures and the one that is not captured by the media. People are no longer safe. In your house, you are not safe. You are going out, you are not safe. You are outside, you are not safe. Then where is safe again? Even safe is no longer safe itself. What is really happening? Why is it that things are going on like this? Why is it that the government is seeming very nonchalant about the issues? I keep asking those that reside in the North region. Is it that they are seeing them as they are not human beings? Because I do not understand. Even the fact that you cannot even see these people. You cannot see these people. You cannot, like you are not present. Just to hearing it and you picturizing and visualizing it in your mind's eye. And you cannot help but ask, how do these people survive? You live in here every day. You're going, your children are going to school. That is if they are still going to school. You are going to your place of worship. You are going to the mosque. You are going to the market. You live in fear. That is not a good way to live. In fact, you age quickly and before you know, you die. And yet, on a daily basis, the government will only come out and say, Oh, we send our condolences. Oh, yeah, we are doing everything we can. What are you doing? Yes, the effects are not being seen. 
You keep blowing your trumpet time and time again and yet people keep dying on a daily basis. And you cannot come outside and say, oh, okay, I've said it before, that the people of Nigeria do not care what the government does. We don't care. What we want is results. People that are dying, they are not supposed to. Nobody deserves to live in such an environment where there is so much insecurity. Nobody deserves to. Those people over there, they are human beings. I keep saying, they breathe the same air. They are in Nigeria with us. These people are human beings for crying out loud. If it is not that they are being kidnapped, they are being killed. Why? We keep asking ourselves when it will come to the time where people in Nigeria, they're going to be 24, 48, you know, 48 hours, 32, 36 hours, and you know, 72 hours when you're not going to hear of such, like it will continue. When do we hear, oh, instead of this thing, oh, the Naira has finally, and the thing is, the funny thing is, nothing can happen in this kind of environment. The little people or the little funds you think you have is continually being channeled. And this, this administration now will come out on a daily basis. Like what they are after is, oh, let us counter people. Let us publish. Let us write speeches, articles. Our government is this. Our government is that. Our government is ensuring. And I'm saying nothing. We are not seeing anything. Nobody is saying the fact of what you are saying. And I tell you, you cannot praise yourself. Yes, why it is good that people should celebrate themselves, but you cannot keep praising yourself in the midst of all this. What concerns the government or what they are concerned about more is how to come out, you know, and counter whatever speech or speeches or articles that Nigerians have against them. You don't need to do that if you are really working. You don't need to do that if the strategies you, you and your advisors prefer are really working. Sincerely. Your work will announce you. It will. So instead of coming out and writing plenty, plenty articles, blowing grammar all over the place, oh, we are this, we are that, leave it and do your work. Do your job. These people come saying, eh, you keep sending condolences, you are doing your best. Your best is not good enough. And if you know that you cannot, please, can you step down so that somebody who can really, really do it come on board? The thing is, the more these people stay there and they're not doing anything about it, the more the situation gets worse. It gets worse that even those coming in will have to spend more. Those that are coming in, I keep saying it, if they are not good Nigerians, if they are not patriots, sincerely, we are completely finished in this country. Know we today. This is it. If you don't, if they don't come down and let people who are really, really patriots, that is why I'm so talking about the Gulibu people. Those people who prefer to feed on blood and tears of Nigerians. They have preferred to reduce themselves to people who eat from the crumbs. When, if this country is actually wonderful, if this country is thriving, you are going to be your own king. It is, it is sad. It is sad. I just wish that the ones that are gullible and patriots can arise and Nigeria will be returned. Not even return will be better than even yesterday. On most note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.